right? All four of them could be getting in trouble. And they feed off of each other. They absolutely feed off of each other. <laughs> unlock the door. You have to the count of three and unlock the door. One, two, three. Okay, Parker, now you're in trouble. Well, that's a good way to avoid discipline, right? Just lock the doors. Open the door. Open the door. I guess I wish I could just figure out how to juggle everything. Being a mom and not feeling like I can I can do my job. No! Yep. No! And how do I manage all four of them? And cooking and cleaning and doing everything else at the same time. Stop! Super Nanny, come on, it's two against four. We need your help. Hey, Mum and Dad, I know you got your hands full with double trouble, so I'm on my way. Hello. Hello. Pleased to meet you, Jeff Ross. I'm Deborah Simmons. Hi, Deborah. As Joe was coming into my house, I was a little nervous because I know that she can be tough. Hi. 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 I'm Tracy. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Joe. After I met the family, Dad went off to work, and whilst Mum was trying to serve lunch, the two sets of twins were going wild. Sydney, get off the table. Oh, stop it now. Mum didn't seem interested in trying to impose any discipline whatsoever. <laughs> Guess <laughs> you're gonna get... Parker, stop throwing my shoe. Throwing shoes and not minding mum at all. Um, that's not a good start. Hi, Bonnie. That is enough. Hi, Bonnie. Parker, stop. Hi, Bonnie. Stop. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. I saw that mum couldn't control the two sets of twins' behavior. So then when dad tried to do it, I saw that he couldn't do it either. Hey, Parker, we don't do that. Get, get down off of that. Guys, do I need to get rid of that thing? Sydney. OK, guys. This is getting, oh, Parker. No, Peyton, please get down. He begs the children to be quiet, please. Can you, can you guys just be good? And they look at him and laugh. Sydney, don't do it again. And then ignore him and carry on doing what they were doing in the first place. Come on, Sydney, please. I mean, it really is this whining tone. Sydney. Kind of like a broken record, really. Can you stay down off of that? Yes. Please. Please. <laughs> please. Okay, Sydney. Come on. Dad finally decided to do some discipline, but his idea of a timeout was pleading. <laughs> now don't kick. Don't don't even start that, please. Please. Do you want to go in the closet? Okay. <sighs> Sit right there, and I'll let you know when you can come out. I don't know what to do. I just at that moment thought, well, where's Mum in all this chaos? Hey. I just kind of peeked into the bathroom area, and Mum was hiding. I'm hiding. You're hiding? To so like what? Your quiet. breakfast? Um, just a snack. I usually hide from the kids when I eat, just so I can have a little peace and quiet. We got there, some uh, fruit. Uh, and yogurt. Oh, nice, healthy. Yeah. I found mom hiding out, eating in the bathroom, so that she could get a few minutes of peace. No, no, don't. Don't, don't start hitting and stuff. Parker. Okay, then, Parker. No one's gonna share their toys with you if that's how you wanna act. Tracy, why are you talking to Parker through a door? He locked the door on me. No child should be able to lock themselves into their bedroom and, and keep out everybody else. These kids are far too young. Far too young. Coming up on Super Nanny, the kid's sugar high turns sour. <laughs> and Joe sets mom and dad straight. So now your kids can lock themselves away from their parents. If there was a fire, then what? We'd have to scramble. Scramble? You can't scramble when there's a fire. You'd be kicking that door down. When Super Nanny returns. <laughs>